Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve tutorial where I'm going to show you how to convert landscape video to portrait video. What do I mean by that? Well, landscape is when you record something with your camera in this way, and portrait is when you record something with your camera this way. Now, YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, they all work in the 16 by 9 landscape format. TikTok and Facebook Reels work in the portrait 16 by 9 format so when you're actually filming for things you've got to film it for one format or the other you can't really film for youtube and then have it as a facebook reel but using davinci resolve i'm going to show you how to convert from landscape to portrait but before we do that there's something very important you do need to know on your screen when you're making your original video imagine your screen is divided into three horizontally with a left third middle third and a right third the reason for this is you need to keep the action as much as possible or the subject as much as possible in the middle third because during the conversion process we're going to lose the left third and we're going to lose the right third that's something you can't avoid with the conversion process however you can fine-tune that if your action is outside of those areas and I'll show you how when we actually start to do the conversion. The very first thing we need to do for our project to convert landscape to portrait is we need to create a new timeline. So what we do is we come up to File, New Timeline or Control N on a Windows PC. I only have a Windows PC so I don't know what it is on a Mac or a Linux PC, I'm sorry. Click New Timeline or Control N. We're going to give it a name. In this case, I'm going to call it Inversion. Now, untick Use Project Settings. And then we get these up here. We want the Format option, Timeline Resolution, scan up to the top and it says Custom. That's what we want, Custom. And now, for Processing, we're going to change this to 1080 by 1920. which is the correct resolution for portrait. And then we click Create. As you can see, in the middle screen here, it's already collapsed the screen into the portrait format. The next thing we need to do is need to bring our video into the project. Now, I'm going to use a video that I recorded off of one of my live streams on YouTube, which was done in landscape format. So let me just bring that in. I'm just going to drag it and drop it into the media pool. That's my video I pulled in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it onto my timeline. There we go. Now as you can see, it's already in the box. Now that's okay having it like that. But you've got a lot of black space at the top and you've got a lot of black space at the bottom. This is where we get rid of that black space. So what we do is we actually come over here to where it says Inspector. And to turn Inspector on, if it's not turned on, just highlight it and turn it on. And the first thing we do is we zoom. Now, as you can see, I'm zooming to fill the frame. And this is where I said dividing the frame into three when you make the initial video makes this a whole lot easier because let me zoom out again. As you can see, I've got a left third and a right third, which have got nothing important in them. So I can zoom right in to fill the frame completely with the subjects I want to do. Now they're slightly off center, but that's fine. So I'm just gonna alter the position slightly to bring them into the center. There we go, as simple as that. Now, if you've got action that's actually happening outside of the middle third, that's not a problem. When you zoom in, just zoom in until you've got the action that you want without losing it. You'll still have black bars top and bottom, but it will be a lot better than when the zoom was at normal, which is uh, down here somewhere. It always looks a lot better. So anyway, we zoomed in, we changed the position slightly. That's where I want it, and that's made the conversion. The next thing to do is we now need to encode it and export it. In DaVinci Resolve, this is called Deliver. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Deliver window. So we come down at the bottom here, and we click Deliver. Now, over here, we've got all of our settings 
We're just going to make sure that they're correct. I'm going to uh, export this as a QuickTime file using H.264 and the resolution is correct, which we set in the project 1080 by 1920. That's absolutely correct. Everything there is fine. So what we do is we come down here and we click Add to Render Queue. It asked me for, oh, I've already, I did this earlier, so I'm going to actually rename the file something else. So I'm just going to call this Untitled Movie. Right, so I'm just going to call this Untitled Movie. Do I want it to replace? Yeah. Okay, so it's over here in our render queue. What we do next is, as long as all these settings here are correct, just click where it says Render All. And that's it. Now, DaVinci Resolve will go through your video and it will encode it and it will render it wherever you told it to go. And when you play it back from that folder, you'll find that you've converted your 16 by 9 video to a 9 by 16 video. It really is as simple as that. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Hopefully I'll be able to do some more little quick DaVinci tutorials in the near future. Look out for them and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.